Hi, Peter. Uh, what have been uh, your first impressions of the organization uh, since you've come, and what made it um, an attractive place for you to land? Uh, really a uh, warm welcome uh, from the guys, uh, from, from the staff, and uh, you know, from the management. So, uh, uh, so far, uh, just the best things uh, I can say. Jack was just telling us some of the things he's learned about you in the short time you've spent together. You've obviously played him uh, in the OHL, but what stands out about him and, and kind of just where he's at after a career year? Yeah, we, uh, we spent uh, some time together uh, since I arrived, so uh, uh, he showed me uh, stuff around here. And, uh, uh, you know, I just can say, uh, and I heard before I met uh, Jake in person, I just, uh, you know, heard great things about him, and uh, uh, he showed that, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's been a great teammate. Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Peter, what are your impressions uh, of your teammates so far and, and the city? I don't know how familiar you are with Toronto. You know, I know you're in the OHL and that, but uh, how are you adjusting in that respect? Uh, yeah, we're adjusting, uh, I think, pretty well. Uh, you know, it's been, I've been here for two weeks and uh, we've been busy with uh, moving stuff in the house and st stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to be, uh, we're going to have a lot of time to, to experience that around the city, but uh, more important, uh, you know, it, it was to uh, meet the guys, uh, meet the coaching staff, meet the, you know, people around uh, who are taking care of us really, really well. So, uh, you know, they, uh, how I said, they, you know, welcome me really, really well, and uh, I'm looking forward to meet them all. Kevin McGrath, Toronto Star. Uh, Jack said that he's played against you basically all his life from teenage, from the OHL and World Juniors. Are there any particular games against him that stand out in, in your mind? Yeah against the uh, U.S. in 20, what is it, 2012, I believe, the World Junior Championship. I think that was the, that was the game uh, he played, if I'm correct. Okay. What do you, what, what, remind me what happened, that was a long time ago. Well, we had to, uh, well, we know, I know really well the game, because we had to win to make the quarterfinals, and, uh, you know, that was something that uh, I will never forget, because for, for a Czech national junior team, going to quarterfinals were a, a big step for us. And uh, what was it about the Maple Leafs that drew you here? Well, the, pa the passion of, uh, you know, of the team, how, how they want to win. And uh, I think this team is, uh, you know, it's really, really good. Uh, they have uh, great players, uh, one of the best organizations in the world. So uh, that's something that, uh, you know, everyone who, who plays for the Maple Leafs know, like, how much uh, they want to win and uh, how much we want to achieve that. Thank you. You're welcome. Mark Masters, TSN. Peter, I know it's early, but what stands out to you about Jack's uh, personality as a reputation as a pretty friendly guy? Uh, really friendly. Uh, we've been uh, together uh, quite a lot uh, for the last uh, few days, uh, you know, no knowing each other and, uh, and getting to know each other. So uh, the things I heard about him uh, just, uh, you know, are the, the way that, you know, guys told me that how he is. That's uh, exactly how he... Uh, how he is friendly and a uh, helpful guy. When we spoke after you signed, you said you were still debating a new number. How did you uh, arrive on 35? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I talked to, um, you know, I, I know Mac had 35 here, and I met Mac in, uh, in Carolina. We've become uh, really good friends, so uh, uh, I was thinking about it as well. Uh, I was thinking about a few, few other numbers. My dad wanted me to... Uh, to go to 58 <laughs> because he was born uh, that year, but because uh, he had the 58 when you know he played, so uh, that wasn't his choice. But I was like, Dad, I can't do that. You know, 58. That's <laughs> that's a crazy number. And uh, and then I was thinking, uh, to be honest, uh, about Miroslav Fritscher, uh, who was my first agent, and uh, you know he passed away early this year, and. Uh, he, but his number was 14. I don't think that suits the goalie really well. So I just decided to go with 35. 